Respect. Word. Respect. Respect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, I am Lee Hinchcliffe. I present on CBBC. I'm also a YouTuber. And I am Tilly Lockie, winner of Series 6 of Got What It Takes here on CBBC. And I'm Hacker the Dog, the national treasure from the telly and other platforms. We are here on the CBBC YouTube channel to get the party started, ready for Junior Eurovision 2022. Way! <laughs> Hello, or shall I say, Barov Zez? Barov what? Barov Zez. That is hello in Armenian. And this December, Junior Eurovision is kicking off in Armenia as the host country. And I just cannot wait. Counting down the seconds. Oh, I mean, you're making it all sound very exciting. But to be honest, I've never really watched it. I mean, I've heard of Sam Ryder. Space But what's all this about? All right, Hacker, can you not do that again? <laughs> Junior Eurovision it is where lots of countries get involved all around Europe. They put in the song and people vote for their favourite song. It's been happening since 2003. It's the 20th one. This year, it's been hosted in Armenia by the capital, Yerevan. Who are you calling a van? I'm not calling you a van. Chill out. That's what the capital's called, Yerevan. <laughs> Yeah, but how do we get involved? I mean, I can't get to Armenia now, can I? I'm getting my toenails clipped on well, Thursday. Well, I can't I... get there in time, Denny! Okay. Why okay. are you doing this? I've got some good news for you then. Oh, yeah. Because for the first time ever, yeah. on the 11th of December, we're going to be able to watch this on BBC iPlayer. Anybody can watch it. It's going to be great and easy access, you know? You can do it from the comfort of your couch. Oh, well, that's my kind of party, cockers. Minimal effort, maximum <laughs> fun. Oh, yes, we love it. And even better, Hacker, if you want some more information, you can watch this quick video. Oh. Incredible performances, world-class vocals, questionable fashion choices. Yes, we all love a bit of Eurovision. But move over, Sam Ryder. Did you know there's also a junior Eurovision Song Contest? The Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And this year, the UK is entering for the first time in 16 years. How exciting! So, on December 11th, 13-year-old Freya Sky is going to try and bring it home for the UK with her song, Lose My Head. Go on, Freya. So, to get you ready for the big day, here's a countdown of the top five things you need to know about Junior Eurovision. At five, where it all began. The biggest kids' song contest on Earth and possibly the universe was born way back in 2003. Now, at last, the UK has decided to rejoin the party. Let's hope good things come to those who wait. At four, which countries compete? This year, 16 countries have entered, and on behalf of the UK, Freya will be travelling all the way to Armenia, which is here, but you knew that. Yeah, the 20th Junior Eurovision Song Contest will take place in Yerevan, Armenia, because Belena was last year's winner. What an absolute bop. At three, them's the rules. Here's the lowdown on the golden rules of Junior Eurovision. Singers have to be aged between 9 and 14 years old. You're allowed up to six performers to dazzle on the Junior Eurovision stage. Your song has to be brand new and under three minutes long. You must sing most of your song in your own language. Strictly no pets are allowed on stage. Sos about that hacker. Each contestant gets to live their best life as a pop star, record their song in an actual recording studio, and on top of all that, they get to film their very own music video. We're bringing dreams to life here, people. At two, time to party! The contest is live at 3 p.m. on Sunday, 11th of December. Put it in your diary. Why not crack out the bunting and flags and throw a Junior Eurovision-themed party for you and your mates? And while you're at it, wow them with some top facts like... Poland was the first country to win the Junior Eurovision twice in a row. Georgia has won the most times with a record three trophies in total. And Armenia have never been placed outside the top ten. And at number one, how to vote. 
The huge difference with the main Eurovision contest is that you can, repeat, can vote for the UK's entry. From 7 p.m. on the 9th of December, you can vote online at jesc.tv by logging in via your BBC account. Remember to create a BBC account beforehand if you haven't already. All the details will be on the CBBC website. By the way, vote for Freya! The country with the most points will raise the famous Junior Eurovision trophy. Could 2022 be the year that the UK brings it home? Because we're rejoining the party, people. Remember to join me, Lauren Layfield and Harvey for a Junior Eurovision party on Sunday, 11th of December. You can watch along on BBC One and CBBC, as well as BBC iPlayer. Let's give it up for Freya and Team UK and wish them all of the best. Junior Eurovision 2022, here we come. I tell you what, that looks quite exciting to me. So I get it now. What you're saying is that you want me to represent the UK. Right, I'll start getting my voice and my dance routines ready. Here we go. Tra la 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 la! Yeah, no, no, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, Hack. I know you hate to hear this, but you're actually not the star of the show. We've already got a super talented artist who's already well on her way. You mean I won't get to go and perform at the Junior Eurovision party? Well, don't worry, because we'll still all be partying away. We'll be watching it go out live in Armenia. At home. Hang on a minute, but who could possibly be representing the UK who's better singer than me? Well, that's anybody, that is Hacker. It's Freya Sky right here! Tell you oh, what, yeah. she's an absolute star hacker. And in fact, have a look at this. Hi, I'm Freya, I'm 13 years old, and I'm this year's UK entry for Junior Eurovision. And no one knows yet. Oh my gosh, that's so that's so crazy. Keeping this a secret, it's definitely been one of the biggest secrets I've ever had to keep. Come in, have a look around. Who are my parents? My parents probably say that I never stop singing. And I think to a point where it gets annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> tell her I love her, but tell her she's really annoying. I don't think I can remember a time where I wasn't singing. Uh... I've been singing. I love to play football. I actually play for a team, just like my local team. I love going out to my local cafe and getting lots of cake. Oh, oh that is nice. I have a super cute dog and her name is Ruby. She's five and she's a kabapoo and she's my best friend. Then I love going on dog walks. <laughs> Ruby's on a poo and I have to pick it up. <laughs> I've literally been a Eurovision fan for as long as I can remember. He has an amazing voice. It's such a unique voice. Love I music. really like that one. That's probably one of my favourites. My favourite Eurovision performance, I think of all time. Obviously, I love Sam Riders. He's definitely one of my favourites. Then I also love Iceland. Think about things. And it was actually in the cancelled year, but I just loved it. I thought it was a really great song. What do you think about things? Believe it. <laughs> Deux points. Perfect. What does that mean? That means 12 points. Is that French? Yeah. Yeah. Junior Eurovision, it's basically the same as the main Eurovision contest. It's just with kids. And there's a host country, and this year it's being held in Armenia. And I'm so excited to go there. It looks so beautiful. Let's not look at this. So why are you packing like that? Being all like, rat like, chaotic. Why are you packing your clothes with the hangers? Um, I thought I thought it wouldn't get creased, but I don't think it's going to be very efficient to stay. You do realise it's probably going to be hangers in Armenia. <laughs> I feel like words can't describe like the feeling of knowing you're going to be like a part of something like this. Um, so I think Junior Eurovision is just so special, and I think I feel so lucky to have the opportunity to be a part of it. You have been chosen to represent the UK at Junior Eurovision <laughs> this year. <laughs> It's all I dreamed of, and it feels like it's coming true. Of course I'd like to win. I'm sure anyone going into the competition would love to win, but it's not the main reason why I'm going in there. I'm going in there um, to have a great time and just enjoy it. I feel like I'm doing some sort of like ASMR or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Oh my god, you're recording me taking Instagram photos. There is yeah. nothing worse. Ultimately, I'm just going to do my best and hopefully I do the UK proud. Um, and winning or even placing anywhere close to winning would be a huge achievement for me. Armenia, here we come. That's it, Oh, she's so talented and she's been singing ever since she was five years old when she got a karaoke machine for Christmas. Oh, hey! I love a karaoke night, me cocker. My choice is always Cotton Eye Joe. Banana, 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 banana. You know banana, what? Banana. I'm not sure I know that one, but my go to karaoke song is got to be Dancing Queen Abba. You oh, you gotta one? beat it. Well, 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 guys. Tangerine. <laughs> no, not tangerine. My favourite song is the one by uh, I think I think it's Robbie Williams. You know the one where he sings about angels. I can't you mean remember. angels by Robbie Williams? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's that yeah, one. It's yeah, it's good one. That. But she has got to sing her own song. But I mean, it's going to be some tough competition. Previous year's entries have been out of this world, but I'm sure she'll cope pretty well. Do you know what? They were actually uh, 2019. Uh, well, the... you're thinking of Vicky Gabor from Poland. That, that's the that's one hack on. We also had uh, 2020. 20... Ooh, Valentina, France, that's right? That's the one yeah. as well. And then last year, Melina from Armenia. That was amazing. And it then... was a belt to that. Have the UK won before? Well, I tell you what, Hacker, the UK could actually have a chance this year. It's the first time they've entered the Junior Eurovision contest in 15 years, Hacker, I tell you. If you want to get involved in supporting Freya, then you can download the BBC iPlayer app. It's absolutely free. Make sure you've got your BBC account login set up and then you can be vote ready for it. Have you done it yet? Hey, can we have a look at the competition then, Cocker? See what and whom we're up against. Oh, yeah, totally. Coming up, let's look at some of the previous acts and we'll also get Freya's opinions on them. Hmm. Excited? It's been quite a while since the UK entered Junior Eurovision, so I'm going to watch some of the performances from the past couple of years to see what makes a good Junior Eurovision performance. I'm very excited. <laughs> Tree. That's cool. Oh, oh no, it's not a tree. Her dancers have her dancers. Oh no, there is a tree. I love her dress. I like her dance outfits as well. That's really, really clever. Where did she come? Second. This is a great song. And she finished second last year, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Focusing on the music. <laughs> I told you I can't multitask. <laughs> I already like it. I like, I like the bench. He has an amazing voice. It's such a unique voice. I think straight out of the gates, this is quite a cool performance, isn't it? <laughs> like cool dude. I kind of want to be on stage with this guy. Yeah, he looks so cool. <laughs> I love that. Hey, hey, I only want to Come on, everybody. Let me see you. I, love that. I, love I really music. like that one. That's really yeah. one of my favourites. Yeah. There's so much to watch. Yeah. Like, I could you watch her performance once, yeah. and then I'll watch it again and look at one of the dancers, yeah. and I'll watch it again and look at the other one, <laughs> yeah. so I can, like, watch everything that's going on, because there's yeah. so much going on, I think. Yeah. It's almost like that. watching a music video on stage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's literally what it felt like. I know this. I really love the background, it's really like engaging. It's like a treadmill on stage. That's so cool. I love how like her dancers are like, having the best time. It's such a happy song, it's like a feel good song. Very feel good. All the different colours, it's like a sweet shop. The French language is so beautiful. I was it? literally going to say that. I think it's so pretty. I do French at school. Not very good at it. It was so clever. I, just, I love the background. It's a bit jazzy. It's a bit jazzy. It's a bit jazzy. That's cool. I know it's early, but he's on his own. I know he's on his own right now. It's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. <laughs> I know, it's so... <laughs>
especially where like different countries they all go in those are different styles of music and like yeah. I think that's what makes the competition like so special yeah. as in you don't know what you're gonna get everything's so different and I think they all have the best time so it's been me way more excited One of the most exciting things about Junior Eurovision is that if you win the competition, you get to host it next year. So if you're the best singer, you get everyone to come round to yours for a big old party. That's exciting. A right round your party. house. Party time on here, singer! We will be partying because if Freya gets all of your votes, that means we'll win it and then we'll get to host it next time. So not only like this year, watching it on BBC iPlayer, we might even get to watch it in person at the show itself. Now, Tilly, you know what it's like being on Tilly, don't you, Cocker? Because you won got what it takes, didn't you? Yes, I did. What was it like performing on TV and learning all about singing and dancing and all that? What, what would your advice be? Just have to have the best time. Just have to have fun with it. It's such a cool show as it is, and she's got so much support from us. So just go and have a great time regardless. It'll be awesome. Did you enjoy doing Got What It Takes? Oh, I loved it, man. I really, really learned a lot because obviously you've got, when you're in a recording studio, you know all about the mics and you're quiet and it feels quite intimate. But then they took you out on a stage with 20,000 people and you're like, whoa. And it takes some getting used to, but it was a lot of fun, man. So Different world, isn't it, Cock and Mike technique, yeah? Yeah, so Mike much Mike technique. How did you manage your nerves? So I feel like a lot of people have this alter ego and you just basically have to turn into Beyonce. So let's practice some this. Beyonce hair flicks. Yeah, oh. How's that? Oh, oh. And then you're gonna strut. Yeah, can you easy that? Anyone can do that anyway. Yeah, look at the strut. Clearly. <laughs> it's coming out! It's coming! Something about the Eurovision's <laughs> coming out! Three Freyers on me shirt! Top, middle and bottom! Three Freyers down me front! Top, middle and bottom! Yep, we got it, all right, we got it. Let's go to see how Freya performed backstage making the song. Three friends on me shirt, la 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 la, top, middle, oh, sorry love. We've just arrived at Metropolis Studios, about to record the vocals for Lose My Head and I am so excited. I'm actually really nervous though because like One Direction have recorded here, Ed Sheeran and I'm gonna stand in the same space. Adele. Ed Sheeran and Adele. Adele. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's literally only been a week. It literally feels like I was surprised like a month ago. You have been chosen to represent the UK at Junior Eurovision <laughs> this year. I don't think I can get in. The doors are locked. Oh no. <laughs> They're not even locked. Okay. We didn't even try. <laughs> Got to run now. So we run into Lewis Capaldi. <laughs> Just accidentally go into every studio. <laughs> My name is Annabelle Williams and I'm the vocal coach for Freya for Junior Eurovision. And how are you feeling about today? Very excited, very yeah. nervous. You warmed up, aren't you? Yes, I did it all in the car. I was doing my warm-ups in the car and I actually felt really bad for the driver. Annabelle, the vocal coach, she sent me some um, exercises to do and it's like one of them facial stretches. And you're like, wah, wah, and I'm in the car like, wah. You did it with a taxi, amazing. Yeah. I've coached people like Jennifer Hudson, Katy Perry and Ella Henderson. We'll start off just getting your lead vocal. Okay. And you can do as many takes as you like, you know, there's no pressure to get it right first time. I feel like I'm doing some sort of like ASMR or something. <laughs> like... Oh. In a bit. Okay. You need to make sure that you place most of it up here as a general kind of guide. Lift the cheeks, wrinkle the nose, and that really, really helps get your right placement, which is where the sound is placed, um, to give you a great pop vocal. Excuse, I lose my head over you. You take what you need when you need it. Two shots to my heart just to feel it. The role of a vocal coach is basically, think of it like a personal trainer for an athlete. It's my job to make sure they're warmed up. Bye -bye. They're singing really well on the night 
and that they're looking after their voice in the lead up to the performance. We sang the whole thing through and then we did line by line. So we went for the first line, we took a couple takes, tried some different like variations of it. When you lie, waste my time, I say bye bye. When you lie, waste my time, I say bye bye. Yeah. Like a lot of people think maybe that the singer goes in and just sings it through once, like in a live performance, and that's it. And actually, it's not. We break it down into sections. It is feel weird now. We try different things out, so we might try different phrasing. That means singing the same line different ways. We really take our time in the studio, making sure that every single note, every single word is absolutely correct. You've got such an amazing personality, and when you're in here, you're all like, woo, yeah! <laughs> we want to see that coming through in the vocal, OK? OK. I messed up the lyric changes, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to do these fries, and it's like when you go like, uh, uh, Good, now just get a real good feeling of how that feels in your throat. Uh, uh, now go, lose it, put it on the end. Lose it, until I lose it. I actually don't know why it's called a fry. When I honestly sounded like I was about to be sick, I was like, hey, because I couldn't get the fry right. You lie, waste my time, I say bye bye. Hi, I'm Jack Howitt. I'm Amber Van Day, and we're the songwriters of Lose My Head. And some of the artists I've worked with are Megan Thee Stallion, Pharrell, Ava Max, Charlie XCX. We've worked with a few people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really exciting for us to have our song chosen as the UK's entry for Junior Eurovision. Absolutely nailed that, honestly. Thank you. So One take, that first take. Yeah. So good. And what like advice would you give to like me or anyone else who wants to like? write more music in the future? So, like, every time you write, like, you, it's like, um, you're, you're always getting better and better, so, like, oh, just keep writing all the time, and if you ever get, like, any ideas or anything, like, melodies, like, the voice note on your phone, yeah. like, always keep, like, track of, like, what you're writing. If you get any, like, lyric ideas, like, write it down in your notes and stuff like that. But, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, if you love it and you love writing and, like, expressing how you feel, like, through your words and your music, like, just keep doing it all the time. Awesome, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I couldn't open the door. My mum just got involved. We're doing the backing vocals right now and everyone has to shout, it's my party. And you're going to go, one, two, three, four. My party! My party! Yeah. <laughs> it's my party! Did you see? It's my party! <laughs> the thing about Freya is she's prepared. So she's learnt the song, she's worked really hard on it. So coming into the studio, actually, we're getting so much more out of her than we would if she hadn't worked so hard. So I'm really, really proud of her and she's kind of shown what sort of an artist she is already by putting in so much work um, prior to the session. We just finished recording the song. I had the most fun. Day has gone so quick. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we did all the backing vocals and I'm so, so excited um, to get on the music video set and hear it and see it all together. So, we've got the performer, we've got the song, and we've got the location, Eurovan. No, Eurovan! I can't, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> it's also known as the Pink City, and that's because of all of the wonderful coloured historic buildings because of the naturally vol... Mm. Yeah. Whoa! This is because of the wonderful colour of the historic buildings which were made from naturally coloured volcanic rock. What about that, Hacker? Oh, la -dee da Mr la -dee da volcanic rock trousers! Well, Wigan's got no pink buildings, but it does have a fantastic celebrity local dog. And that's me, Cocker, yeah! They know how to throw a party in Wigan. How about I mean here, eh? Yes. <laughs> Well, they do certainly know how to throw a junior Eurovision party because this is the second time they've hosted after they won last year. Melina with her song Kami Kami, she rocked it. Oh, it sounds like a great party, that oh, yeah. oh, With yeah. great music, trendy people and loads of dancing. That's right up my boulevard, that cocker. But I'm not sure they'll invite you to, though. You're not as cool as I am, but with all my celebrity chums, I do know Sue Barker. Oh, you know. Sue Barker, yes, yes, we've heard it all before. Well, the great news is that actually everybody is invited. You just need to get yourself on the BBC iPlayer app and come along to the party. You're welcome. Yes, and I know Barry from EastEnders. So as long as you've got the BBC iPlayer app, you're invited. Winner, winner, chickens for your tea. Get it downloaded, everyone. Get then you're vote ready. 
More ready indeed, chickens for your tea and all that, but I tell you what, it's amazing to see how far Freya has come and she even went through a very nerve-wracking audition process. So let's take it back to see where it all began. And I've met Arthur Bostrom. Mm. Oh. <laughs> They were looking for aspiring singers. I was lucky enough to be asked to audition. So I'm going to be singing Remember by Becky Hill. I'm doing just fine now, it's over. I've been moving on and living my life. But occasionally I lose composure. And I can't get you out of my mind. The thing that made Freya stand out for me, as well as having an amazing voice, was her personality. Oh, my best friend, she's furry. She's a cavapoo. <laughs> and her name is Ruby. <laughs> she's got the most gorgeous, infectious smile, personality, and you just love being around her. She's she's a total superstar, and I think that we all felt that in the room when she came in on that audition. After my first audition, I had to just wait for like a good week, um, and it was like the longest week of my life, but I got through to the second round. <laughs> In the second audition, I sung Lose My Head for the first time. When I first heard Lose My Head, I loved it. I was like, this is something I'd listen to like all the time. I went in, I sung Lose My Head, and then Annabelle, the vocal coach, she worked with me on it. Um, we took it up a few semitones, we kind of played with it a little bit. Annabelle, she actually got me to sing I Lose My Head Over Ya rather than I use, Lose My Head Over You. You make the you, yeah, you find okay. it easier to hold the you. Okay. It's like easier to hold for longer, so if you're listening to any of the live performances, I'm actually singing Ya, not you. <laughs> excited and glad I was chosen. You have been chosen to represent the UK at Junior Eurovision this year. <laughs> like, wow. It still feels like really surreal. I still can't believe it. Next stop, Armenia. Freya hasn't even done Junior Eurovision yet. She's already a megastar. Oh, yes! And we're here first, Cockers, yes! The uh, very first fans, day one's bottom of the rung. Yeah, well, thing is, you've got to prove your support by voting, of course. But you know what? I think we need a little fan name going on, Ooh. you know, like Justin's Believers, Taylor Swifties. Yeah, I've got one. Freya's Fancy Frogs! He has got... Mm, no, I'm... Not Freya's not Fabulous it. Flapjacks! Mm, They're so dry. No, not I, a fan, no. I like Flapjacks. What about Freya's Raining... Cloud skies. Oh, it's weak, yeah. that one. Weak. Have you got yeah. one? Right. Little clouds. <gasps> Freya's little clouds. Cute. We'll have that. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, yeah. fluffy little cloud. cloud. Let's watch Freya's first ever live TV performance on Children in Need. She absolutely killed it. Yeah, let's have a look. Walking to my throne, it was a big, oh my goodness moment because all of the practice, all of the rehearsals. This is my time to show everyone what we've been working on. I have just arrived in Manchester um, as, you know, getting ready for our performance on Children in Need tomorrow, which I'm, I'm very excited, but understandably a little bit nervous, but it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Um, so I'm just here at a rehearsal studio and I'm actually late. <laughs> We were having our zen time to be quiet and just sit down and have a little hmm, sleep. <laughs> it's been a mega busy morning of rehearsals. I mean, there's always time to make videos. <laughs> there's a flea in my hand, right? Do you, yeah? yeah? Can you hold your jacket? Can you hold a hat? Okay, can you chew about the train? Will you hold the big one? Do you actually believe there's a flea in that? Then why are you holding his hat and jacket? 
It was time to head to the TV studio. Being backstage at a show like Children in Need, there were going to be loads of celebrities there. You know, Lewis Capaldi, Diversity, Mimi Webb. So me and the girls thought it'd be best if we had a signal in case we saw a celebrity. Should we have a signal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a wink or something. Oh. <laughs> we noticed that Mimi Webb was going on stage to rehearse. I'm about to perform on the exact same stage that Mimi Webb just sang on. I mean, the girls were all like, like looking at each other as they're like, oh. Oh. Stop it! Oh my goodness! That's so big! Oh, bless you, you're so sweet. Oh, come here. Oh, you sweet. <laughs> What best advice would you give to like kind of get an audience excited? Yeah. <laughs> I would say just get in your zone, feel it if you feel the music. Yeah. Just go for it. Don't be shy. Like whatever happens, I'm just gonna like walk away and feel like I've done the best I can. So, yeah. So enjoy it, it's your moment. You're gonna have so much fun and this is just the start, so just soak it all up. Best of luck with your performance. Thank You're gonna you. absolutely smash it. Thank you so much. Ooh. So lovely to meet you. Walking on the stage for the first time felt like a massive, like, wow moment. There was obviously no one in the audience when I was rehearsing, but there were so many cameras, and I mean, the stage was massive, it was all beautifully lit. I mean, it just made me super excited for the live performance. Yeah. Can't wait to see it tomorrow when it's full of people. It looks less scary now because it's not dark. I think it will look scarier tomorrow. <laughs> First time we really thought, wow, it's all coming together, and I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my God. I'm excited for tomorrow now. I feel like that's just like give me like an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Team UK, Team UK, Team UK. I'm in shock. I didn't actually think we'd have each have our own dressing rooms. I know. I didn't actually know if we would even have a dressing room like in general. It's so so cool. But I mean, walking to my throne, it was a big, oh my goodness moment because all of the practice, all of the rehearsals, this is my time to show everyone what we've been working on. amazing experience on Children in Need with all the girls performing in front of millions of people. I'm so, so proud of us. It was our first ever time on live TV. And I mean, it's definitely a moment that will stick with me for the rest of my life. Great job, my friend. Amazing, you feel good? <laughs> nice one, everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to meet Sam Ryder. Next up, lots of rehearsals to make sure we're ready for Armenia. <laughs> A legend live to the nation for the very first time honestly she's such a hero i'd love to meet her well it's always great meeting your heroes and it like the first time you met me what a lucky bean you yeah, were to meet bean. this canine the legend the people's princess hackety dog <laughs> hey i wonder who freya's hero is well i can tell you it's not you hackety dog it's actually lucy jones who performed at eurovision five years ago in 2017. Oh, indeed. Tilly, what about you? Who's your hero? Who would you like to oh, meet? Oh, I might sound a little bit corny. My mum, she just keeps me in check every single day, so I've got to say her, and she'll be very happy when she's watching this. Ah, what about you, though? See. Lewis Hamilton. Love Lewis Hamilton. Drives fast cars. Very inspirational on the track and off the track. Lewis Hamilton for me. Yeah. So what about you? Sue Barker Cocker, the best backhand in showbiz. Of course it would be Sue Barker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, Freya got to meet her hero, Lucy Jones, everyone. It was an amazing surprise, and it was also the moment that she found out she was going to be representing the UK in Junior Eurovision 2022. Have a look at this. I will.
hiding backstage at the Apollo Victoria Theatre in London's West End, where Wicked is currently playing, and I play Elphaba. I've been very lucky to play lots of different roles in my career in the theatre, but another part of my career was when I got to represent the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest. And so I am so excited that this year the UK is entering Junior Eurovision. 13-year-old Freya is currently downstairs in the foyer and she thinks she's here to do a dance workshop for Junior Eurovision. Little does she know that I'm here to surprise her with the news that she will be going to Armenia to represent the UK in Junior Eurovision. So follow me, let's go and tell her. Oh my goodness. How are you? Are you okay? I'm really, I'm this really, is really exciting. good. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm literally like your biggest fan as oh well. Oh my gosh. Well, I've just been listening to you sing and oh you are amazing. You like this my time. So it's much. so nice to meet you. <laughs> so you're here today for the dance workshop. Yeah. So are you ready to get moving and yeah. get going? I think so, I hope so. Yeah, good. I need to give you some news um, mm -hmm. about today is that it's all been a bit of a lie. It's been a joke. It's been a trick to get you here because I'm here to tell you that you have been chosen to represent the UK at Junior Eurovision <laughs> this year. <laughs> sit down and have a chat and we'll talk about Eurovision and yeah. I can give you some tips. Yes, thank you so much. You're representing the United the Kingdom, Kingdom in Junior Eurovision. Eurovision! So like, what kind of was the experience like, like for you? Like, what can I like expect? It's just really fun. You'll have such a good time. What's your like top tip for when like you do it? Make sure you've done lots of practice. Yeah. Because then you'll feel nervous in the moment. And you know, you get your voice gets a bit like this and your legs go a bit shaky. But the more you practice, the more your body knows this is my song, these are my moves, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. But don't overdo it, don't tie yeah. yourself out <laughs> beforehand. Yeah. So excited to see you at oh, your I'm so excited. My goodness me. But you're gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much. Good so luck. luck. It's so lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. I've gotta go, I've gotta go and get good green. luck. Have Thank a good show you. tonight. How cool was that, eh? What a moment. Lucy will be telling all her mates about meeting Freya too, I bet. 100%. i tell you what, though. What? Being a Eurovision star seems like quite a lot of hard work. I mean, Freya's singing, she's dancing, she's filming, she's doing interviews. She can't catch a break, man. She's killing it. She's still doing a great job. You know job. what? It is that hard work, you know, being dead famous. takes a lot of effort to be this good. Uh, you're not that very good. Hmm? You, 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 you're not very good, are you? You're not. Anyway! <laughs> Freya's actually got to use an earpiece, and we use earpieces as well. It's too. a weird thing. It is. We hear voices. People tell us what to do, what to say, where to go, where to be, who to talk to. Huh. It's voices. I've got to talk to Lee. It's punishment. It is punishment. <laughs> hey, I hear voices, you know. You don't have an earpiece. I know. I hear um, sit, roll over, nah, play dead. Alas! <laughs> I must leave this mortal coil, uh, but I'm fine now. Relax. That was, good. that was good, good. Well, let's have a look at how Freya got on, where she had to learn to sing with an earpiece and learn a whole load of new choreography. Nice to be the voice, you know. So, we're just about to arrive at today's rehearsal space. Um, and today we're rehearsing for a live performance in Armenia. So I'm going to be learning like the dance and trying singing and dancing at the same time. Very excited, very nervous, but let's see how it goes. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and this is my team. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen Lee. Hi, I'm Misha. Hi, I'm India. Hi, I'm Surreal. To go over that slow, yeah. one more time like that. 
My name is George Antonio and I am the assistant choreographer for the UK entry of Junior Eurovision. Day one of rehearsals, we basically ran over all of the choreography that we had already done for the music video and everything that worked we kept and everything that didn't work for stage where um, there was a cut in the music video, um, there was like a little bit of a restaging but we really wanted to keep it in that same world. Everyone's breathing in Freya, why are you holding deodorant? Well, I'm holding deodorant because it's my microphone for today. There's quite a few things that Freya's got to think about that probably people don't even realise. You know, things like microphone technique. You throw choreography into it and then suddenly you're looking over here and the mic's still here. So I can't go, it's all on you. Yeah? This, you basically want to think your elbow and your lips. There's like a little string here and wherever you go, yeah? You were dangerous, you know it. give it all I got, but now it's over and done. Cause when you lie, waste my time, I say bye bye. I'm gonna go from here to here. Well, Very confusing stuff so that I will kind of do. Yeah. It's definitely very, very tricky trying to, you know, do dance moves good, but then also focus on singing. Because, you know, I want to sing good, but I also want to dance good. So it's definitely hard trying to get that balance is in, like, you know, rationing my air, making sure I'm taking deep enough breaths, but then not doing too much movement. Day one was a bit of a shock to the system, I think. Um, the singing and the dancing together, breath control, all of those things that are super normal. Like, everybody goes through them. Um, you just have to put in the work, and they really, really, really did. It's really nice knowing that I'm going to be on stage with these girls. Probably not my own. Okay, are we ready for some quick fire questions? Yeah. Yes. Soraya, what's your favourite cute animal? A dolphin. Water is calm. <laughs> Misha, what's your favourite time of day? Definitely gotta be lunch. I love my ham sandwiches. Kristen, what's your favourite emoji? <laughs> Probably the crazy emoji. Can you do it for us? <laughs> <laughs> India, what's your favourite silly noise? <laughs> and I'm gonna have an in ear. Have you used one of them? No, I'm gonna have my in ear for the very first time. I'm so excited. It's like what all the pop stars have. I don't really know how to use them, so I think Annabelle's gonna teach me. We were introducing Freya to IEMs or in ear monitors, which is basically earphones that uh, she will be able to hear her voice on the microphone through and the track. Just push it in as far as is comfortable. Does that feel like it's in snugly? Yeah. We use in-ear monitors so that we can hear our voices super clear, so that whatever we're singing on the microphone, we can hear in our ears. Um, this really helps when you're singing in front of an audience, you know, so that sometimes the noise of the audience can drown out what you can hear and it actually can stop you hearing your own voice. If you can't hear yourself, you might sing out of tune. When you're performing at Eurovision, you'll be able to hear your voice and the track. And you're hearing me in your ears. Yeah. And it's just so that you and I can talk and rehearse and I can give you notes. And if you, if you speak... Hello. <gasps> I can hear myself. You can hear yourself. Yeah, that's really odd because I can't hear myself when the mic's not there. Hey. You were dangerous, give it all I got, but now it's over and done. How did that feel? Weird. <laughs> good, 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 good. It's good cool, weird. it's cool. You get what you want when you want it. You're At first, the in-ears felt really weird. I felt like I was underwater. And I think it was really, really cool kind of figuring out how it all worked. And I literally felt like pop star. Two shots to my heart just to feel it. No, I can't make no Today, by the way. No, it's just really nice. <laughs> the rehearsals have been going really, really well. Even though there's been a lot to take in and a lot to remember, I feel like the more I do it, the easier it gets. Um, and I mean, the dancers, they look incredible and the team have been so, so amazing. Um, but I'm really excited to see what it all looks like on the big stage in Armenia. Um, until then, I'm just going to have to keep practicing at home. Practice makes perfect. The most important thing you could do to support Freya is vote for her. Yes, and she's got my vote 100% all locked in. I'm voting for Freya Sky. Right, right. Big time, no worries, locked in, sorted. Okay, but have you actually voted? Uh, when you say actually, what do you mean by actually? Thinking about voting, I'm Well, you know, on the, on the official website where you sign in, so you're all ready to cast your vote when it's needed. Oh, yes, yes, I see what you mean now, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, so what do I need to do then? Are you listening? Big time. Thank you. Yep. I've just kicked her. Sorry about that. Sorry, love. Right, listen up, listen up. Yep. Open your ears. Yep. Are you listening? Yep. Thank you. Yeah. First round opens Friday, 9th of December. Friday, 9th of December. Got it, yeah? Check. Check. 
Two, you need to log into your BBC account and head to jesk.tv where you can get a sneaky preview of all the performances. Lee, have you got your iPad thing? I've got it, I'm have logging. Have you got your login? Have you got your, have you got your password? I've got my password. I'm, I'm in! Yes, I'm in. she's in! For anybody at home, definitely make sure to get an adult, your mum, your dad, your grandma, your older sister, make sure you're set, logged in, and they're supervising you so you know what you're doing. Yes, he's in, look, he is in! Now, on Friday night, you'll be able to watch all of the performances and then vote for your top three. So if I vote for my top three, if my favourite just happens to be Freya Sky, <laughs> which it is. So this is your chance to vote for Freya and support her to try and win for the UK. And what if I'm having my tea on Friday night and I get distracted with the tasty, delicious meat paste going down my face? What will I do then if I forget all about well, it? What am well, I going to well, do? Well, what am I going to do? You don't need to worry because you've got until Sunday. Junior Eurovision actually goes out on BBC One, CBBC and BBC iPlayer. You've got until then to cast your votes, but you must have it done before that point. Are you able to remind me of the key points of all this? Because I wasn't really paying attention. Are you listening now? Yeah. Definitely. Key points, please. Right, first one. Download the BBC iPlayer app. Check. Head to jess.tv. Vote for your top three. And then number four, party your socks yeah. off. Party till your socks come off. Party till your socks come off. Hey, everyone. It's Freya Sky here, and I'm representing the UK at Jesk 2022. Please... Remember the words. <laughs> so I've completely. <laughs> I'm right now backstage at CBBC Saturday Mashup, and I wanted to quickly come here and record this message to say a huge thank you for all of your support so far. I am so excited to go to Armenia and sing my heart out so, so soon. And please remember if you like my song, please vote for the UK. Every vote counts. Mwah. So there you have it. I'm pretty sure you've got all the information to consider yourself a junior Eurovision expert and show off all your friends your inside knowledge. Yes, I am so ready for the party, cocker. I've got the BBC iPlayer app. I'm logged in and I've got my party outfit poised. And I tell you what, I am pumped <laughs> up to the sky with excitement. Do you know, the sky, because it's very, very sky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave the jokes to me, Hinchcliffe. Oh, okay. No, no. Who's there? Me, Hacker the Dog. We've been through this before. I bring the jokes, right. not you. All right, you can have the jokes, keep the jokes, but I tell you why I am. I'm bringing what? the official Junior Eurovision UK music video, Freya Skies, Lose My Head. Oh, and now we're talking. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Good luck to Freya. And we also can't wait to see Lauren and Harvey presenting the show. We'll be watching BBC iPlayer December 11th, and we hope to see you there. Yes, we will. Good luck. See you soon, cockers. Respect. Respect. <laughs> so take it away, Freya. to stay in my wonderland but I